This is what $100 worth of food looks like. Today, I'm going to Slim Chickens for the first time. It's like a private corridor entrance. Learned about it on social media. Foodies eating it are popping up in my feed. People even comparing it to Raising Cane's and liking it more in some cases. The flavor of the chicken, I think I'm probably gonna go with Slim Chickens. Slim Chickens was founded in 2003 in Arkansas by Tom Gordon and Greg Smart, aiming to create a fast, casual dining experience Right here. Focused on chicken tenders. The chicken tenders are hand breaded and cooked to order. Wings, chicken sandwiches, wraps, salads, sides. Slim Chickens has its signature sauces. Slim Chickens also offers a variety of desserts, including these in mason jars, with ingredients like cheesecake, cookies, and brownies. Slim Chickens has expanded rapidly with over 150 locations across the United States. It's a brand that emphasizes Southern hospitality with that warm, atmosphere with the Southern Arkansas roots. This restaurant chain is just one of many popping up that is growing super popular, reflecting a broader trend of consumers seeking higher quality meal options. It's all fresh and cooked to order at Slim Chicken. I've got a $100 budget to taste test the menu, so let's wing it. It's gonna get saucy. It'll be unfrigettable. You're my wingman. Enough of these puns. I've got something to tend to. Wow, this place is massive. It's like a private corridor entrance. Hey, Big Bird, take notes. Welcome to Slim Chickens. Okay, I'm chicken leg. They've got 14 hot sauces. On mine, they said eight to 10. Okay, we're getting here right when they open, so it's a little quiet right now, which is perfect. It's my first time coming here. So I gave myself a $100 budget, so I'm gonna have like a little feast. Okay, this is looking perfect. Thank you so much. A little bit healthy over here. Number 39, the food will be here soon. This is my food, isn't it? Okay. I'm so excited. A hundred dollars. We got the sauces. Get that southern type. Thank you. Oh yeah. I love how you played it. Oh my god. <laughs> Here you go, thank you. Oh my God. <laughs> Where do I even start? This is what $100 worth of food looks like. This meal prep is gonna add a couple of pounds. You're making the back bigger. They've got like boba tea straws up in here. Check this out. <laughs> Better to get the brownies and cookie dough and other things that are in the shake slurped up with. It's not on the menu, but if you ask, they will serve it. Oreo cookie dough, mmm, mmm, sugar is so delicious. I just learned that sugar has a connection with depression if you overconsume it. So be careful, don't overconsume. Do enjoy. And this straw is a collectible. This place is known for chicken tenders, so we gotta try that. We gotta try the sauces. We're gonna eat the sandwiches. We're gonna try the wrap. We're gonna get into that waffle and even try the mac and cheese bowl. I'm gonna let you know my favorite out of this $100 purchase. Starting with the side dishes. Pickly pickle, fried pickles. It's very thinly sliced. Feel a little crispy. Comes with the garlic parmesan dip. But let's try it by itself first. Very garlicky. I get like a little sour note in there. Not my preference. Pickle chips are a go. I'm gonna pass on garlic parm, but we're gonna get back to the rest of the sauces in a second. We got fried mushrooms. I love mushrooms. Mushrooms, indifferent to sugar, are actually very healthy for you. They're good for your brain. Now when you batter them and deep fry them, it kind of takes away some of the health and good nutrients, from what I understand at least. This all day, every day. Mushrooms above the pickles. Fried okra. Okra is a legume in the bean family. I'm making that up, but it sounds good. This is another green vegetable that the southerners decide to take them and deep fry them and make it no longer healthy for you. Maybe you get some vitamins. Oh, this is good. Kinda tastes a little peppery. It's got a good chew. I'm gonna pick mushrooms before okra, but okra for pickles. I feel like I'm at the fair. <laughs> you just eat all the deep fried foods. Potato salad. It's another fan favorite. I like macaroni salad better, but smoked barbecue flavor. It's a flavorful punch. Let's keep it moving. I got all of them dry so we can do a sauce taste test. Waiting till the end. So that's when we're gonna try all of the sauces. I want it. Can wait. Doesn't mean we're not gonna eat tenders in the meantime. Chicken and waffles comes with three tenders on top, butter and maple syrup. We also have the maple syrup by the condiments if you wanted more. And of course we do.
All right, that's enough. All I want to do is fill up those little squares there. It reminds me of the Eggo days. And I just learned that waffles at IHOP are way more expensive than pancakes. But they're made with the same ingredients. It's a conspiracy. You do need a knife for this. Hey, let's get this thing unhinged. Let's start the party out, right? I gotta add a little butter on there. Not breakfast time, but you can eat chicken waffles anytime. Mm -hmm. I may be the least demure person out there. The waffles bomb. The butter melts in your mouth. Delicious. Might as well be served at brunch at a fancy restaurant. I mean, we're having a good time. I will eat this later. We've had some unhealthy things. Let's try something that's a little lighter. The Slim's wrap. It's got their chicken tenders in there. Let's look in there. Lettuce, chicken tender, ranch, some cheese in there. They're not overdoing the cheese. It's what keeps it healthy. We're awkward. We're awkward. When you realize how many calories are in ranch dressing, got some of that cayenne ranch on the side. Going in for a slim wrap. 10 times better than the snack wrap. Stuck with meat, you got that lettuce, it's super fresh. I got their famous cayenne ranch. Ooh. People always spill over with their sauces these days. Are you into this much sauce or is this too much? On a regular Tuesday, I'm not eating this much sauce. I'm trying to be actually healthy in life. And that is some spicy ranch. That is freaking good. Mushroom with this cayenne, that's where it's at. This is the best bite. I still have a lot to try. This is the mac and cheese bowl. It's a buffalo mac. So it looks like they take the chicken and they put it in buffalo sauce and they top it with their fried onions, cheese, and green onion on top. And it looks like they float this entire thing in ranch dressing. This is a bowl of ranch and mac and cheese. Can't see it, but there's mac and cheese under there. You thought this dish wasn't heavy enough? Don't worry. We got carbs. It's got Texas toast. Two slices, extra buttered bread. Maybe they should call it Arkansas toast. See what that mac looks like. The big elbow macaroni with the white sauce. Looking all fried and delectable. Mm. That is a creamy mac and cheese. Mm. This might be addicting. I would eat mac and cheese over chicken waffles any day. Food hack I saw online. Take your toast, put some mac and cheese on it with the chicken, a little bit of that onion goodness and everything. Not making it up. The secret slim burger, enjoy real. Since we have it, let's put a couple of fried pickles on there. A little bit of that sauce on there. Ooh, baby. And a lid on it. This is it. The slim chicken hack. Is it actually good? Honestly, that's a little too much. I don't really like that hack. Eat things separate, not together. Suddenly, I'm a picky eater. We did it, but we learned. Grilled chicken tenders. They're looking very well seasoned. These grilled tenders are looking kind of massive compared to those Raising Cane's. You definitely get that grilled flavor. It's actually a really good source of protein if you're trying to get those gains. This whole thing with sauce and everything included is 47 grams of protein for 605 calories. And you know we are. This is the cayenne ranch chicken sandwich. I'm not a rabbit, but I love the crunch. It comes with the fried onions, cayenne ranch sauce, the chicken patty, which is looking like a pretty thick chicken tender, and a massive piece of lettuce. They've got some fresh pickles on there. Not fried. More of that ranch sauce. And all of that is on a brioche roll. We like brioche. Gotta unhinge the jaw. All right. I think that that ranch sauce is the thing that is like the clincher. It might be my top pick sandwich, a big dill sandwich. So this is a special that they're doing right now, which is a chicken sandwich, of course, stuffed with pickles. Look at that. It's like double pickle inception over here. Put some of that ranch sauce on there. And then on the bottom of that chicken sandwich, you got more fresh pickles and of course that ranch. It's a big dill. They've got puns. I didn't even have to make that one up. Oh my god, I love pickles. It's got the crunch. It's got the flavor. It's got so much good salty, pickly flavor. Oh my god, dude. Okay, I gotta chill it out. We got some more food to eat. We got sauces to try. Between both sandwiches, I'm going for a big dill. This one's good though. Time for our sauces. There's a lot of sauces to try here. I'm gonna try to eat all of these in increasingly hotter order. I'm gonna let you know my favorite sauce. And then after that, we're gonna try desserts and then we're gonna chime in with the best item that I recommend that you eat at Slim Chickens. You guys gotta let me know if you've been to Slim Chickens before and what is your go-to order. To taste test, I am going to use this fork. Otherwise, I might waste good bites with flavors we just don't like. First, the Slim Sauce. This is what they're known for here. This is what they serve with their tenders. It tastes like one of those chicken tender sauces that you can get at Raising Cane or Walmart. It's got more of a tomato-based flavor. Kind of got a little sweetness, too. Honey mustard. 
It's got that dijon -y flavor. Got a little kick. This one, I would choose above Slim Sauce. Offended a Slim fan. Guess I'm Slim Shady. This is the Parmesan garlic that we had earlier. Looks like an oil-based sauce. Another taste test to see if I was being a little hard on it earlier. I'm gonna pass. We got that ranch sauce, the one that people say is so addicting. Is it the seasoning? The flavor is really good. Take me to the ranch for that. The cayenne ranch, red speckly notes in there. Oh. That's a reason enough to come to Slim Chickens, guys. It's like a superior ranch. Honey barbecue. She's sweet. Oh. This is looking like a pretty classic barbecue sauce. I like it. It reminds me of Memphis. Just kidding. It's really yummy. It's sweet. It's very sugary. Let's try the spicy barbecue now that we had the sweet. This one's looking a little darker in color. Also a little thicker. A little hotter. I would definitely pick the spicy over the sweet. Korean barbecue sauce. Oh. Well, gogi is Korean barbecue, right? So maybe that's what it's going to taste like. That's what it is. Gives me that sesame, that soy. Got a little umami happening here. If you come here and you want a Korean barbecue sauce, this is a really delicious one. Not my top pick, but I like it. Red chili. I like chili sauce. It's a little bit sweeter and a little bit more tangy. It's not the same sweet chili that I'm used to. So I actually don't really like it that much. I'm sending love to you if you love this. And what I believe may be the hottest one, habanero we know is pretty hot. This isn't the type of place that has like a Scoville unit wall and they're trying to like burn your mouth off like Buffalo Wild Wings. This place just wants you to eat good chicken tenders. I love hot sauce. We probably already tasted this on the Buffalo Chicken Mac. Definitely my favorite hot sauce is Frank's Hot. It's looking a lot like that. The mediums are the mild hot sauce. They just literally add liquid butter in there so you know it's good for you. It's not Frank's. Not 100% generic, but classic, delicious, spicy. I would say probably a go-to with that ranch sauce. Mango habanero, the spiciest sauce. Being like a little bird on this one. Just kidding. It's not like a Dave's hot chicken hot. <laughs> Just kidding. Not kidding, it is hot. This is really spicy. Habaneros are one of the hottest peppers that are really easy to get. If you like spicy, that really is for you. Nearly forgot the gravy, a southern classic. They use white gravy on a lot of things, including biscuits, but also chicken. It's peppery, it's delicious, it's buttery. I gotta try that gravy with the chicken tender. This is a good idea, guys. If you haven't already, chicken tenders and delicious other gravy. The grilled chicken tenders kind of are bigger. Health options here on this channel. Let's get a little devilish with it. Definitely really good juicy white meat. Flavor of the breading is super peppery and delicious. This one is slim. Oh, snap. I found more sauces. They do have blue cheese and they do have a buffalo sauce. It's a good hot sauce, but I prefer hot sauce. You know what I mean? Everyone on the internet is talking about their ranch being all great. But what about the blue cheese? No, it's not one of my favorite blue cheeses either. Ranch might be the way to go. And I normally don't say that. So my favorite sauces are gonna be the spicy barbecue, hot, mango habanero, the cayenne ranch, honey mustard. These sauces to me are unforgettable. We'll be thinking about them for days and days to come. But until then, I'm gonna consume them with my last dish. These sauces right here, I think I will just pass on. Keep the white gravy. I believe I didn't really like the slim sauce, but it is what it is. Let's give the slim sauce one more chance because supposedly it's really good with the chicken tenders and I didn't try it that way. Am I still gonna be shady after this bite of the slim sauce? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like the tomato -y flavor. This is the five for five, by the way. Now it looks like a three for five because I've been kind of picking at it. They're good fries, kind of spicy. Dromets and wingettes. These are looking like some sizable chicken wings, but we're dipping, we're not coating. Get it all in that sauce and make a mess. This is that hot, spicy cayenne ranch. Let's see how these hit. Bet. I think that means it's good. It's good chicken. I would say it's better than Popeye's, but it's not the best chicken wing I've ever had. If you pick the right sauces, boom, you got it. The honey mustard is where it's at here, though. You gotta do that with the tenders. 
It hit home, it brought me home, it brought me back to life. Better than Keats? I would say yes. Sauces aside, the chicken tenders have really good flavor, they're super crisp, and the breading, exactly what I need. It makes sense that this chain is one of the fastest growing fast casual restaurants out there right now. Everything was delicious, except I really didn't like all of the sauces. I guess, like, to each their own. Mac and cheese might be the best thing on this menu underneath the chicken tenders. When it comes to side dishes, if you like mushrooms, these are really good mushrooms. White gravy is one of those Southern classic things. And if you were thinking about chicken and waffles, this is definitely the place to freaking get it. It's pull apart. It's the upgraded ego. We do have healthier options that give a good flavor punch. But when I come to Slim Chickens, I don't know that I'm getting this, but I know that I can. They're here for you. Is that a tomato wrap? Fancy. When you come here, you're not trying to be slim. That word is just used for marketing. So when you come here and eat, you don't feel bad about it. Sandwiches here are also really freaking great, but I'd say go for the specials. And when it comes to dessert, these guys are not messing around. Milkshakes come in with a thick straw, and the brownies are also thick. But that one's with a CK, not a CC. After I leave here, I'll be thick. Don't look. So they serve their desserts in these basin jars. Oh my god, I just noticed the branding on there. It says Slim Chickens. Am I the only one that thinks that this is freaking adorable? I will have Slim Chickens in my house forever after this. How deep can she go? Oh yeah, there's layers and layers of brownie pudding or something in there. With that whipped cream. Oh my god. That tastes like chocolate heaven. If you guys have not been to Slim Chickens, you're missing out. These baked goods are killing the game. If this video didn't make you hungry, then I'm not doing my job. Every day more restaurants keep opening, and I keep going to them. I keep eating. I'm so hungry all the time. This brownie game is strong. Go lift some weights to get strong after eating all of this. Get your brownie in the jar. It's the only way.